Have you ever tried replacing components in SketchUp only to find that you've moved them completely off of their axes? Well, let's take a look why and then how we can use Sketch Plus to fix this. First thing we want to do is look inside our model here. And I have this restaurant that I've been working on and we realize now that we need to make a couple design changes, specifically these circular tables. And I have a component that I previously had as a rectangular two top that I don't want to replace it with. One native way to do this is to open up the default tray and view our component library by clicking on the little house here. I got to admit, this is not a clean file. So I've been working on this and things have just been moving really quickly. So I haven't organized names. I didn't really give too much of a care to the axes of certain objects that I grabbed or created. So that's a challenge here because in the component library, I'm given a bunch of ways to view this and to see all the components that I have in my model. But again, I have no idea what it's named. So by the time I find it, it's going to be pretty challenging to actually place it in the file. And that's where Component Finder can be really helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and click Component Finder, and this is exactly going to do that. It's going to find every component in our model similar to the default tray component palette, but you can see these images much larger. You can actually browse other folders and locations similar to how you would create collections in SketchUp. Most importantly, I can now search. So I'm going to do a search for the word top and hit enter, and you can see my tables right there. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to place it on my cursor. So now I can place it in the model. Before I do that, though, I'm going to press escape. I'm going to double click first inside of my group that I created that has all of my two tops just to make it a little bit easier to see. And also this model had a had a different drawing axis for this specific group because the building is not a true 90 at this corner. So I'm inside of this group. And now I'll go ahead and search for that. And then just drop it into the model. Now, I don't want to natively move these each time and place them in each position. What would be better is if I can just actually swap these. And natively, I would again, I would do this with the component palette over here. But the challenge is I have to find that object, which I'll just scroll real quick to actually find. I think it's towards the bottom here. There we go. And then secondly, I'm going to pre-select the components that I have. You could use a native tool as well. You could right click on any one of these components and you could also do select instances and that will select the instances of the component in the model. And then over here on the right, I could right click and select replace selected, but you're going to see an error. And the reason for this error is component axes. If you're not aware of the component axes and they don't share the same point, they're going to move. So before we replace the components, we need to make sure both components have the exact same axes location. This can be tricky to do natively. So let me undo and natively to change this, I would have to double click inside and you can see here why my axis is off. It's over here. I actually want it to be in the bottom center of the table. And this one, it's here. So what that really did is that kind of moved this object essentially kind of there, more or less. So what we can do instead, let's close out the default tray, just move this over a little bit, is we can pre-select our component. We can use the change axes plus tool within the components of Sketch Plus. And when I click on that, it's going to give me all of these anchor points. The point that I want is the center of the bottom. And you can actually on a PC, I can press control just to set it only to that. If I press control again, I'm given all the different anchor points because sometimes you need that axis to be somewhere else. But typically for a table like this, you want it bottom center. So I'll go ahead and click. It'll set it there and then I'll hit spacebar for select. And then if I double click inside and hide the rest of the model, you can kind of see that right there. So I not only need to fix it here, but I also need to fix it on the table as well, the 
rectangular one. So I'll do change axes. I'll click on the center point again. I hit spacebar for select. And now our axes are exactly the same. I'll single click on the table I want to replace. And then instead of right clicking and going to select all instances in Sketch Plus is select tools, I'll go ahead and click select all instances. Now, another trick you could have done too is you can do previous selections. So it kind of caches your last couple selections. So it's sort of a memory for some of your previous selections. So that's also a great way to use this. So I have these selected and now I want to swap these components out. Instead of using the default tray again, I can actually use the replace component plus by clicking it. And then single clicking on the component, I want to replace all these instances with, which is going to be the one that I'm on right now. And after I click, it'll take a second and now it'll swap out all of my tables exactly in the same position that they were when it was just around two top. So let us know how you're using some of the select tools as well as the component features like component finder, change axes, and replace components using Sketch Plus. Be sure to subscribe to Mindsight Studio's channel for more tips and tricks. You can also visit our website to find other extensions like Sketch Plus, Profile Builder, and Placemaker. Continue your SketchUp journey by watching one of our videos here on the right to learn more about what we offer. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.